Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We got some Tears of the Kingdom potential news for you today. I'm gonna warn, I'm gonna label this a bit more like a rumor, although I've now heard this from multiple sources at this point. We got some news on an updated collector's edition for Tears of the Kingdom. But before we dive into that, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. And if we happen to get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we got some exciting stuff in store. What am I talking about? Well, we are going to be giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. But more than that, we're going to give away one of those exclusive Tears of the Kingdom pins that you can get at PAX, and we're gonna be giving away a Switch OLED Zelda Tears of the Kingdom edition. Already got that pre-ordered in for you guys. I'm really excited about it. And without further ado, let's get into the news. So, what are we talking about today? And why am I labeling this a rumor? What makes this different than what I mentioned on Saturday when I said, hey, if you guys remember back on Saturday, I said we are going to get something Tears of the Kingdom on Tuesday. Sure enough, we did and we got gameplay. So why am I labeling this one different? Well, a few things. One, it's not the same sources, right? So my information is coming from different places. Two, this information is based on a retailer. And three, while I have gotten these sources, um, let's just say, murmurs, I don't want to say confirmations, but murmurs of this stuff happening, I want to note that none of this is guaranteed and I'm not promising you this, but I have heard from a handful of people in upper management at GameStop that there may be a brand new Master's Edition. It might not be called Master's Edition to be clear, but I'm, I'm just framing this in the Breath of the Wild sense. A new Collector's Edition for this game beyond the one we have now and this collector's edition would include a statue now i've been trying to figure out what the statues of because apparently it was seen in some sort of meeting the same meeting that saw these the zelda switch oled months ago unfortunately i haven't at this time been able to confirm what the statue is of from tears of the kingdom heck maybe it's of a character that people don't know but uh that is something that apparently is in the works and will cost anywhere from 200 to 300 Dollars Now, when they're going to announce this, when you can pre-order it, I don't know. I assume quantities will be much more limited than the current collector's edition, which has been nearly impossible for many of you guys to get. Uh, and yeah, we'll see if we can get our hands on it as well. Heck, maybe we can bump up our collector's edition to a master's edition if this exists. Again, I've heard this from a few staffers at GameStop. I haven't seen any pictures because pictures weren't allowed in this meeting, so I don't have any physical evidence to present to you guys. This is just something I've now heard from several people, including somebody who has been giving me and feeding me information from GameStop for months, and everything they fed me has been correct, literally all along the way, to the point that I felt it was worth making this video, combined with the fact it's been corroborated by a couple of other sources. Now, again, I can't confirm that this is a real thing that exists. I don't feel as confident about this as I did about Zelda something happening on Tuesday, just completely different sources with completely different backgrounds. But I do want to give you guys a bit of a heads up on this. I think it's absolutely amazing if this does happen. It also wouldn't be surprising. If you think about it, for the Windmaker HD, they had a special edition that came with a Ganondorf statue. For Majora's Mask 3D, we had the special edition that came with the Skull Kid statue. And obviously, Breath of the Wild, we all know there was that Master's Edition or whatever that came with the uh, sword, right? You got the sword in the pedestal from in, right in front of the great Deku tree. That was a really amazing statue. So them doing it again wouldn't really be surprising. I'm not announcing it yet. I guess you could say it's a bit surprising, but they could be spreading things out, right? Like they did the collector's edition, sold out of those pre-orders. Now they did the OLED and the pro controller in case selling out of those right now. And then, you know, in a week or two, they can announce this and then sell out of that and just keep the sales and the trending sales for tears of the kingdom moving forward. So that could be the strategy at play here. Now, again, I don't know necessarily what's happening 100%, but I'm pretty confident that this is something that will likely happen. Again, it, I understand that there might be people out there that are going to source me on this and say things, and that's cool. Uh, I, I know I got a little bit of credibility after that Tuesday thing, but of note, these are completely different sources, but it's been pretty, pretty reliable for me so far with things leaking out of GameStop. As an example, I technically knew about the Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED announcement yesterday, the day before. I just didn't make a video on it because I was foolish and I wanted to have doubt and I wanted to be skeptical 
and it turned out that my skepticism wasn't warranted because I could have been the first to report it and uh, just added more and more to my credibility. Unfortunately, I didn't. I, I chose not to do that, and I don't want to make that mistake this time, given this information comes from very similar sources, including the exact same source. So, look, you guys can take this for what you will. I know that I would love a new Masters Edition. This is definitely something I would like to have. I didn't get that sword in the pedestal the first time around. I don't know how I would get my hands on this, if possible. I do not want to pay scalpers. We just did a live stream last night kind of laughing at people trying to scalp the Zelda OLED edition while it could still be pre-ordered. It was pretty crazy. But there are certain things they could be scalping, like the Pro Controllers. Those sold out pretty quick. And collector's editions are indeed something that we need to worry about with scalpers. Personally, I hope they allow us to pre-order this version in stores. I think the in-store pre-orders that were allowed with the Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition OLED really helped it not really be that affected by scalpers, if I'm being honest. Uh, and I think the same thing should be done with this. Like, it's such a big physical item. They should allow people to pre-order in-store, which, again, is the best way to combat scalpers. When things are online only, like the Pro Controller, they tend to go like that, and then that you end up having to pay premium prices for. That being said... How about that gameplay, baby? There's been so many analysis, so many things out there on the Tears of the Kingdom. There's a Korok at the beginning laying on top of a backpack trying to find his friend. It's so cute. Uh, we talked yesterday about how there might be shrines. There's actually some additions to that where some of the, 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 the green swirly things appear like shrine replacements, like Zonai shrines or something. That looks really exciting. All the possibilities of building mechanics. I saw HMK, our good pal HMK, uh, put out a tweet today. He said, imagine that you put meat on an arrow. You shoot it at an enemy, and the arrow with the meat sticks to the enemy. Like, it doesn't kill him. But then there's a pack of wolves or bears around. They smell the meat. Then they attack the enemy. And as they're attacking the enemy, you come in. You take them all out. Not only do you get the loot from the enemy, you also end up with more meat in the end. And maybe you even get your arrow back. The, the gameplay possibilities in this game are going to be nuts. We thought the gameplay possibilities with the mechanics in Breath of the Wild were nuts, and now Nintendo's doing an entirely different thing. If there's one thing we can say about Nintendo, you might not be impressed with the visuals. You might even think the, the greater draw distance isn't great. You probably saw the pop-in. Maybe there's frame rate issues in part of the game. I don't know. But what we can say about Tears of the Kingdom right now, it is doing things from a gameplay perspective we've never seen. Like, we've had some crafting and, like, nuts and bolts not to this level. Like, we have not seen this level of exploration, crafting, and experimentation in a game anywhere. We can One thing Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom approved consecutively is Nintendo, when they're doing their open world, when they're doing their exploration, when they're doing their crazy stuff, they're doing it in a way only Nintendo can. Anyways, guys, I'm Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. It's been awesome to be back on camera. Now the studio renovation begins. I'll catch you guys in that next video.